You gotta get it wrong. You gotta get it wrong? You gotta get it wrong. You got to get it wrong. Ho, ho, ho! Smother me in gravy and call me Pat Butcher. Welcome to the Gotta Get It Wrong virtual game show night. Christmas special. Special. As you can see, we've taken the logo. Well, we haven't. The graphic designer, Andrew, has. Fair play to you, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. And we've put a bit of snow on it, yeah. some lights, and a Santa hat on top of the G. And we're dressed up in our festivities because it is Christmas Eve Eve. It's the 23rd. Santa's nearly coming. And uh, when did you grow so tall, Mr. Elf? Uh, look, I will say I'm a sweaty elf. Yep. I am wearing black jeans underneath these trousers. I possibly should have gone commando. Mm. You as a Santa costume, it just goes hand in hand. Yeah, I, Santa's lost a little bit of weight this year, so the belt wouldn't actually work. So what I've done is I've used a bit of tinsel oh. as, as my belt. I've been doing a lot of 5Ks this year during lockdown. Uh, and you've brought a friend here. What's his name, Yeah, Nathan? Birdie Ahern. No. Uh, just <laughs> Birdie Ahern, old snowman. Looks like him, has the muscles. Hey? Ah, look, I don't want to be slamming Birdie. I have to say, great energy right yeah. now because this is the second time we are doing this. The first time we have reports here that it got more views than the Late Late Toy Show. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually reveal... We can't. Those stats, we can't yeah. release them into the general public, but you just got to take our word yeah. on it. And also, when we were looking back, Nathan, we did realize one yeah. thing, that not just people who listen to our show were watching this. People just happened to stumble upon it because right now we're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and the website. And people are like, what the hell is going on? Like, what is this? And they didn't know what the game was. Yeah. Welcome to Gotta Get It Wrong. This is the game we play every morning on our radio show, Fully Charged where we put one minute on the clock, Nathan asks you questions, and then all you have to do is get the questions wrong. It's as simple as that. And every single player tonight will win a gotta get it wrong mm, baby. board game. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. But the top two, we've got four players, top two going to go through to a final head-to-head, -head, where the winner will be crowned the winner of the Christmas edition of the Gotta Get It Wrong it. virtual game show it, and will win yes. the coveted yes. Golden Trout yeah. Award. Now we are back bigger and better than ever, but the Golden Trout has shrunk a little this oh, time okay. around. I won't even call it a trout. I will call it a slippery eel that looks like genitals. Before, I'm not going to lie to Before you release it, you're yeah. saying we're back bigger and better than ever. We've yes. actually reduced the amount of contestants playing. That's actually not as big. That and now you're about to reveal that the coveted golden trout, which is, oh, it's um, actually got smaller. Now, oh, uh, do you know what? It's actually, one of these things, you can smell it before it you can stinks. see it. It stinks of... Um, it smells of cigarettes. Oh, person, it does. It smells of your uncle. <laughs> Producer Callum, where did, you, um, where did you pick this up? He won't display. He won't display the name. Let's... Ha let's it's more of a slippery eel. Look at it. That's no trout anymore. That is not a trout. That's a slippery eel. You'd actually be... I'd actually probably prefer to finish second tonight than actually end up having to win that. And is there so... Like, there's two markings on it. So you've got the, the plaque in front for the Gotta Get It Wrong Christmas Special winner. And then on the back, what does it say? Has this been re-gifted? What does that say? Celtic... What? What does it say? It says Celtic bronze. 16 euro! It costs 16 euro! This is why you are here. This is why you are playing. Oh, here, let's leave it here. Wow. Uh, you'd be disappointed now if you went to a restaurant, ordered fish and got that. Oh. You'd be going back for seconds. There we go. There is the trout. Remember, if you want to win one of these board games, now you won't get Mom, it before Christmas. You won't. Because it is, of course, the 23rd. The postmen and women can't be delivered over Let the next 48 hours. But you will be winning it in the first week of 2021. So if you do want to win one of these, got to get it wrong, board games. And actually, Nathan, open up. Show them what's inside. I will. No. Because we don't know what's inside. Producer Callum oh, gave me one. And... There's no... There's no... So what's, what's, what's in there's there? There's no game. It's just... It's just <sighs> cards. Okay. What an absolute joke. So... On what the, a joke. On the cards, there's questions, but we have this lovely little 
hexagonal tile with our faces on it. Yes. And we press it and it goes, got to get it wrong. It starts in three, two, one. And then the timer. I know it goes. Do, 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 do. I actually have a problem. Producer Callum gave me one to play with yeah. my family on Christmas Day. Yeah. Doesn't come with batteries. Oh, have to, have buy, to batteries. buy the batteries. Well, anyway, believe us, there's a tile in there. It's a lot of fun. If you want to win one of them, if you're watching us on Facebook, comment below, tell us who you'd play with and give the video a share. And if you're watching on Twitter, comment below as well. Tell us who you play with and give it a retweet. I think, is it time now that we get going? Four players, player number one. Yes. No. You've got a question or? No. You are mistaken. Do you remember last time? You know, I schmooze with the stars. I'm a big fan of A-list celebrities. Yeah. I have hung out with Matt Damon in the past. Yeah, it, it was a Zoom call. Zoom call. It was a Zoom interview. We're kind of like mates now. He actually has never contacted us again. Well, his assistant won't contact me. Yeah. He's been difficult. But remember the last time I got Pat Kenny to oh, send us yeah. in a message? Well, he actually got the name of the game wrong. Typo said, in the email. Got to get it right. Typo in the email. Get it wrong. Well, I have worked hard. Through the night, I had to send a few brown envelopes here, a few brown envelopes here, <laughs> and I've managed to get another message from a different oh, A-list celebrity. Here we go. Roll the VT. Hello, this is Adrian Kennedy, and I want to wish Graham and Nathan the best of luck with their Gotta Get It Wrong Christmas special. Well, <laughs> um, amazing. Love, lovely man, a legend, a legend in the radio industry, yeah. legend. But is he as big as Pat Kenny? I like, and I think oh. Adrian would understand us saying that as well. I would say bigger. Adrian has would never you not say he hasn't presented the Late Late Show. He's been on the six o'clock show <laughs> as a guest. <laughs> yes, that is very true. Thank you, Adrian. And today with Maura and Dahi as well. He goes across both Virgin Media and RT. Very smart man, Adrian Kennedy. Thank you very much Thank for that beautiful Adrian. message. Have a wonderful Christmas, you and your family. Yeah. Are we ready? Let's do it now. To have the first Come game. Come on. All right. The very first player of the Gotta Get It Wrong virtual game show Christmas special is Mark McDonald from Blanchardstown. Welcome woo, to woo, the woo. show, Mark. Mark, oh my God. <laughs> you look absolutely glorious with your glasses. A clever man. And it says <laughs> on my sheet, Mark, that you speak Spanish. Hola, hola, my brother. <laughs> hola, ¿cómo estás? Well, you'd actually say hola, mi hermano, Mark. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, ¿Hablo un uh, poquito español también? ¿Hablas español? Uh, sí, un poquito, un poquito, señor. Perfecto. Thank uh, you, and that's as much as we will talk. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Mark, will you please send back the paella? It has given me the runs. <laughs> No. Thank you. That's the little the little Spanish I know. <laughs> Mark, I'm looking at your sheet of information here. Mm -hmm. And we did it the last time as well. Oh it's God. very vain of us. Yeah. Now, we had nothing to do with these questions that were given out. Mm. But in one section is, who's your favorite member of Fully Charged? <laughs> and above the door, it's Graham and Nathan, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> but there must be some option that the person who wrote this added in. And you put Callum. Yeah. Mark, <laughs> sorry. Mark, why? The, the last time we began this, Callum oh, came up yeah, again. It's so thing. embarrassing. Oh, and you know what? Do you know what, Mark? This time, he's got a camera fixed on himself. Let's have a look at that. Look at him there. Look, he oh. placed a camera so he could look at himself. Oh, <laughs> what a horrible man! <laughs> so, Mark, tell us what is it about him that he referred to the Santa and the Elf? Oh, like you two are like you're very funny. It's just I like that when he jumps in, kind of keeps you guys on your toes. Yeah, just think like it's very funny. Yeah, Mark. So, uh, <laughs> no, no me gusta. No me, no, me, no me gusta. Okay, Mark. Let's have a game. You've already won. I got to get it wrong. Board game. Fair Congratulations. Play to you, Mark. Fair play to you. Congratulations. You. How much do you want to win the golden eel? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> it's gonna go on top of the Christmas tree. Oh, lovely. Have you ever come across an eel before in your life? Would this be the first? This will be the first. Okay, Mark, yeah. let's get to it. These are the rules. We are going to put one minute on the clock. You got to get as many questions wrong as you can. There is no repetition. Your answer mm -hmm. must be in relation to the question and you only got a couple of seconds to answer before the buzzer comes in. Oh, and we good. move on to the next one. Yeah. Mark, you're going to try and get into the top two to get to the final. Are you ready to go, Mark? Yep. Nathan? I'm ready, brother. Three, two, one. Best of luck. 
Sing a Beatles song. Happy birthday to you. Do your best impression of Bono. How are you? How many members are in U2? Seven. Name a Ben Affleck film. Just Friends. How do you spell Cobra? A-C-E. Do your best impression of Borat. Oink, oink. What actor plays Borat? Uh, Julia Roberts. What's 66 minus 9? 100. 11 plus 11 is 22. True or false? False. What's the capital of Switzerland? Dublin. What sport does Roger Federer play? Football. Who is Roman Kemp's father? Johnny Depp. What film has the lines, Luke, I am your father? <laughs> the Exorcist. What is Leo Varadkar's job? <laughs> um, teacher. What is a pug a type of? A cat. What noise does a cat make? Wolf. What is a pineapple a type of? A vegetable. Sing a killer's song. Uh, jingle bells, jingle bells. Speak French. Out of time. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Incredible, Mark. Not bad. Mark, that was a very, very good round. Thank no you. buzzers. No <laughs> buzzers at all. But what score did you get oh. to kickstart the game? Well, Mark, I have to say, you have been an absolute delight to chat to right at the beginning of this. You have a presence about you. You're warm. <laughs> you're friendly. You're a little bit sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> you reminded me of someone, Mark. Who? You reminded me of a very, very young Rikishi Fatu. <laughs> stink face. You remember the stink face, Mark? Classic wrestler. Were you a fan of the wrestler remember? back in the day? <laughs> no. I'm okay. Do you remember? It's Christmas. I don't want you to see your... Stink face. Right in the corner. You're missing the gyms because your ass isn't as big as it was. <laughs> Don't he tell was me doing squats. He was doing squats before the pandemic, and he was really happy. He was like, "Oh, I got a big ass. I got a big ass." Well, you don't anymore. I have the fattest <laughs> ass in Dunleary. Pancake. <laughs> Find me a fatter ass. Find me it, cause I'm waiting. Sorry, you have to see this, Mark. I'm gonna tell you, you got eighteen. <laughs> Woo, insanely Mark. good. Mark, that is very good. And. Obviously, you're the first one. You go top of the leaderboard. But people now get 19 or more to knock you down. You stay in the top two. We will be chatting to you later on, Mark. We will see you very soon. Bye, Mark. Thanks, guys. See you, Mark. Oh, wonderful Bye -bye. player. Wonderful player. Oh, very smooth. As Bradley Walsh and the Chase would say, good player. Good player. Good player. I'm going to just actually have some H2O, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, no worries at all. A little bit thirsty. He's had that bottle for the last three years. It's really going to do him harm. Oh, my. If you want to win one of these... Got to get it wrong, board games. Come on. Come on now. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a comment in the comment section of this video. Tell us who you'd play with and give it a share as well so we know you're watching. And then also on Twitter, comment below the video and then retweet it. They are the ways that you can win one of these Got to Get It Wrong board games. Mark, 18. Shall we move on to the next player? I think let's do it. So next up. Is, is it Vicky or Lorna? Lorna. Lorna, I've got Lorna here. Next up is Lorna Nihulawash. Nihulawash. Yes. Nihulawash. <laughs> yeah, Lorna, welcome. How are you getting on? Oh, brilliant. Um, I'm good. I'm top four. Lorna, it says here that you love swimming with mates. <laughs> Would you ever swim in the 40 foot? I'm a big fan of the 40-foot. Yes, Nathan, I am. Oh, well, I'm Lorna, I don't know if you've heard the news. On Christmas morning, I'm thinking of now, get your head out of the gutter. I won't be skinny dipping. But I'm thinking I'm going to be swimming with my parents. Oh. Brilliant. Well, I might, I might be swimming with my parents also, Nathan. Maybe we could... Oh. We could, we, could, we, could have a cup of, we could have a cup of tea. Oh, my Lord. Nathan doesn't want me to release this information, but he's going to be down there at quarter to eight. What are you Christmas doing? Christmas Day morning. What are you doing? You can go down Please. there and see Nathan O'Reilly. Go, oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. I don't want to do it. I don't like want to do dancing. it. I don't want to do it. Lorna, you've been on the show before. You've been on Nathan's Hard One, the riddle every Friday. What was the riddle that you guessed? Um, and the answer was an egg. An and egg. the riddle was... Uh, something along the lines of what you need to break to use it. That something was a great like riddle. That was one of the easiest. You remember that? That was one of the easiest. That was a good one, Lorna. Well, I was glad to have oh, you on. You. Well, Lorna, let's have a game of got to get it wrong. You got to finish in the top two to get through to the final head head to play for the coveted golden eel. I think we're calling the golden eel now. I think so. There yep. she is. Uh, you said that if you won it, you'd dress up in a dry robe and bring it. Um, Sea swimming? Would you bring it on Christmas morning? I presume you would. Yeah, yeah. I could bring it on Christmas morning. Why not? Why not? Um, 
Yeah. That, my that, father my... would love to see that. <laughs> The rules are, we're going to put one minute on the clock. You've got to get as many questions wrong as you can. No repetition. Your answer must be in relation to the question. And only a couple of seconds before the buzzer comes in. And we move on to the next one. Lorna, Nathan, one minute. Best of luck. Name a colour in the rainbow. Black. Do your best impression of E.T. Balegda. Who is Danny Minogue's sister? Don Trump. Who is Miley Cyrus married to? Billy Ray Cyrus. What is the name of Miley Cyrus's song with Dua Lipa? Danny Minogue. What currency do we use in Ireland? Peso. What street is the spire on? Nation Street. What noise does a German shepherd make? Moo. Mm. How do you spell pasta? P-A-S-T-T-T-T-A. What is an aubergine a type of? Fruit. What does a postman deliver? Parcels. What was Humpty Dumpty? Uh... Bottle of water. Name a nightclub on Harcourt Street. Oh, go. Sing a Lily Allen song. Zombie, eh, eh. What sport did Phil Neville play? Tennis. What rhymes with chunky? Black box. What's the capital of Poland? Dublin. Name a colour not out on of the time. Ra- oh, out of time. Imagine if Miley Cyrus went out with Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> No, we are not. I'm in my ear, Callum go, are we accepting postmen and parcels? Callum, what do you think postmen deliver? Ah, oh. uh, I think we can't be given that. I'm sorry. And I'm clearly obsessed with eggs around Lorna, the Humpty Dumpty Yeah, question, exactly. And the riddle was an weird. egg. Weird. weird. Very weird. weird. What is that now? 18 was the score that Mark said in the first game. I have to say, Lorna, you came on here and, you know, you had a real swagger jagger about you. <laughs> Um, you're very popular. You like to swim. You reminded me of someone. Who? You reminded me of a very, very young... When I say the name, let's sing the song. Okay, I don't know the song, is it? Oh, no, it's not what you think. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking You remind about. me of a very, very young Natasha Bedingfield. I'm like a bird, I no, only fly away. That's Nelly Furtado. I don't know where my soul that's is. That's Nelly Furtado. I don't know where my home is. Feel the rain on your skin. Oh, that's Nelly Furtado you're singing. Oh, jeez. He's lost it. Christ. He's lost Lorna, it. you got 16. That's all right. That is You'll okay. Take that. You'll that's take okay. That. Just got to finish in the top two, Lorna. And... If the next two players don't get 17 or more, you will be facing off with Mark in the final. Lorna, we may be chatting to you later on. Thank, Thank you, you very Lorna. much, Lorna. Bye. Thank you. Bye. What a player. Halfway through the first round again. How games. are you feeling? How are you physically? I'm feeling good. I'm conscious. Yeah. That people have just joined. Oh and they're wondering, God. why is there a Santa Claus? And why is there an elf on their screens on Christmas Eve Eve? I'll tell you why. We're doing got to get it wrong. Christmas, Christmas special. Christmas special. Do you Christmas know the way special. some people have Christmas specials? We've stolen the idea. Absolutely. I can see behind me how this looks. Have to say, set looks great. Yeah. Half a Christmas tree. Yeah. Little snowman that looks like Birdie Ahern. <laughs> and uh, there's actually to our right, you can't see it, but it's sleeping bags. Yeah, a couple of sleeping bags. For us later. Sh- shall, shall we? There's some crackers here. Let's pull a cracker. Come on. Graham, you like haven't two, even taken me out for like dinner. Two <laughs> you haven't even taken me out for dinner. <laughs> pull my cracker. I would like you to see my parents first. All right. <laughs> I want to Forget about that. Okay. okay, we are two players down, two more to go. All the people have to do is get the questions wrong. For every wrong question, they get a point. And if they top our leaderboard, they go through the final to play for the Golden Eel. Golden Eel. Right. If you want to win one of these board games as well, comment on Facebook, share the post, tell share us who you play it, with. It. Do the same on Twitter. Retweet, comment who you will play with. Let's welcome number three contestant to the game. It is Vicky Vicky, Cobe. Vicky. Now, Vicky, is it Cobb or Cobe? Cobb. Oh, I got it wrong. I saw it. I had two in my head. Went I it. went for it and I got it wrong. Vicky, I apologize. It's a bad start, but I'll, we'll hopefully rein it back we'll in. We'll get going. Also, another bad start. My pen has been hiding underneath Wait, the tinsel. You haven't used your pen once. I'm trying my best to. Once, so. Vicky, it's a delight to chat to you. What is going on? Are you feeling Christmassy? I am. I am. Nervous and Christmassy. <laughs> well, you shouldn't feel nervous. I want to tell you a few facts that you already know about <laughs> yourself. Uh, Favourite member of Fully Charged. Now, that should be written down on your no, sheet of paper. Don't. What are you doing? 
scribble it out. Your favorite member is Nathan, it says here. No one has said Graham. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, well, what happens when I'm on holidays, huh? Do you all Sorry? enjoy the show as much, T? <laughs> Don't think so. Graham, please. Now, what's very interesting about you, Vicky, you have a twin sister. Oh. I do, yeah. I- Ali's her name. Identical <laughs> twin or look kind of different? We're different, completely different. <laughs> Are you best friends? Yeah. Oh, and I've also got it down here. You dis- dislocated your knee twice in one day. Oh my God. Doing what? Yeah. Uh, playing rugby. And then when I was out that night again. <laughs> <laughs> it was, so did you dislocate it and you're like, oh, I've dislocated my knee. Oh, that's really sore. And then you're like, I'll go out anyway. Or was it kind yeah. of half dislocated and you didn't know? Oh no, I dislocated fully and then... I wanted to go out that night and then I did it again. Oh, <laughs> Vicky, you poor thing. And have you gotten knee surgery or anything? No, it's all good now. Just um, a bit of physio and all is good. With me, it's been quite unfortunate. Uh, I look, I don't want to speak too much about don't myself. Care. I don't care. But I Let's move on. We've heard enough about his shoulders and his knees for one year. <laughs> move on. I did my shoulder back in 2018. Yeah, and his knee. I've now, I do the show from home for two weeks. You do a good knee. impression of me. The first time round up my shoulder, you were there. I can't get in. I can't get in the car. It's like Nathan, the hospital is next door. I can't do it. Give me some oxygen. He was trying to get me in the boot of his car, and I said, never again, Vicky. Right, Vicky, these are the rules. We're going to put one minute on the clock. You've got to get as many questions wrong as you can. No repetition. Your answer must be in relation to the question, and only a couple of seconds, or we move on. <laughs> and I'll buzz you. You have to get 17 or more to go into the top two to play for the coveted golden eel. Okay, ready to go? Yeah. Perfect. Nathan, three, two, one, go. Sing a 1975 song. Happy birthday to you. What singer has a song called Blinding Lights? Jay-Z. What sport does Cristiano Ronaldo play? Basketball. What year are we living in? 22. Name a Whoopi Goldberg film. Shrek. What's the capital of Belgium? Dublin. Do your best impression of Louis Walsh. Hey, how are you? Name an X Factor judge. Me. What band was Niall Horan in? Oasis. What was the name of Louis Tomlinson's album? Three days. What's 66 minus 9? 7. 13 plus 13 is 26. True or false? True. Name the singer who wore a meat dress. <laughs> Name an actor who has played James Bond. James Patterson. Who played the kid in Home Alone? Louis Walsh. What TV show was the character Zach Morrison? Out of time. Oh, out Louis out Walsh in Home Alone would be out great. Out of time. Was he the guy who was doing the shoveling? The neighbor <laughs> the, 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 hit the man of the head with the shovel. Okay, Vicky, you had to get 17 or more to go into the top. Okay. Producer Callum said, strong start, dodgy middle. Um, I have to say, Vicky, the <laughs> Cobmeister, you came on this morning. You This evening. This evening. And you're never jealous. You're very warm. You're likable. You reminded me of someone, uh, Vicky. Who is that? Do you know that woman? You'd see her on Albert Square. Little cigarette in between the two fingers. Dot Cotton! <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember Dot? Yeah, I, I, I know Dot. Do you know her? Yeah, Dot yeah. Cotton, are you happy with that, Vicky? Laundry. Yeah. A, a stalwart of... <laughs> it's not Weatherfield. It's um, Walford. Thank you, producer Callum. <laughs> My she ear. worked in the laundrette with Pauline Fowler. She did. And I have to say, Vicky, you got 12! Oh, no! Vicky, Damn. you don't go through to... The final. You are going home. But of course, you do get one You're of getting our got to get it wrong board games yes, Vicky. Thank you very much. just before Christmas. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so Vicky. much. Um, let's take a look at that leaderboard. I'd love to. I, it doesn't really matter, but we can have a look at it anyway because I like the graphic that comes up and it makes us look like uh, we're yeah. a professional show. Mar- on top, we got Mark with 18. In second, we got Lorna on 16. They are currently going through to the final. In third, Vicky just came on. With 12, we got one more player to go. Remember, if you want to win one of these, if you just joined us, I got to get it wrong, board game. Comment on Facebook, share it so we know you're watching and also comment on Twitter and give it a retweet as well. 
We're moving to the final player of the evening before we go to the final. Can this man break into the top two? His name is Kieran Carey. Welcome to the show, Kieran. Yes. Kieran yes. Carey, lock up everyone you know because the big <laughs> dog is in the house. I have to say, That's I'm it. a sucker for alliteration. Kieran, great name. Thanks very much. Same to you. <laughs> Thank you, Kieran. Kieran, you said in the application that if you did end up winning, well, it probably said the golden trout in the application, it is now the golden eel because. It's so slim. You would put it pride and place in your trophy cabinet. What other trophies have you won? Uh, well, I wouldn't really call it a trophy cabinet. More so just a cabinet in the corner. Okay. <laughs> what would be in the cabinet? The good china? Cheers, I wouldn't even say there's china in the cabinet. No. <laughs> <laughs> just a dusty cabinet. I love it. Or something out for Christmas. And you were on Got to Get Wrong uh, just a couple of weeks ago in early December. What score did you get on the radio version of this game? Jeez, as you're breaking up there, I think we're about to move on to the next question. Okay. <laughs> I am. You was it not great? Uh, I wasn't too great now for that week, no. Okay. We'll move on, so, because let's, hey, let's wipe this slate clean. It's a new beginning. New game. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm very excited for this, Kieran. So, just a reminder got to get 17 or more to go into the top two to go to the final. The rules are very simple. Get as many questions as you can wrong. No repetition. Your answer must be in relation to the question. And you only got a couple of seconds before I buzz you and we move on to the next one. Kieran, are you ready? I am indeed. Nathan, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. What TV show is Roy Cropper in? EastEnders. What noise does a red squirrel make? Rivers. What noise does a grey squirrel make? Wolf. How do you spell throne? F-O-X. Name an actor in the film A Star Is Born. Danny Dyer. Who does Bradley Cooper have a child with? Uh, Lady Gaga. What is the name of the pub in Coronation Street? Uh, Vic. What's 66 minus 9? 2. 13 plus 22 is 45. True or false? True. What's a main oh, What's the main ingredient in mushroom soup? Carrots. Name a Justin Bieber album. How are you getting on? Do your best impression of Will Young. Are you alright, lads? Who is the lead singer of Nickelback? Uh... What band sang Stacey's mum? The Beatles. What's the capital of Greece? Dublin. What currency do they use in Portugal? Dollar. Who is the Canadian Prime Minister? Leo Varadkar. One month Out of go- time! Oh! Oh, this could be so close. Oh, my. This is going to be close. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, you do a fantastic wow. impression of Will Young. Wow. <laughs> okay, oh. so you got to get 17 or more to join us in the final. Mark is already there, but will it be Lorna or Kieran? Nathan, you got the scores. Kieran, before I reveal what you got, I have to say, you, sir, are the hairiest person I know. <laughs> you have... A lot of hair on your lower back that grows upwards and downwards. And do you know what? You reminded me of someone. <laughs> Who was that? You reminded me of a very, very young King Kong! Oh, yes. Oh. I love your stuff in the movies. I That's was going to say King Kong or Joe Duffy. And I just uh, went One or the other. Very similar. Very, very similar. similar. Yeah. And Kieran, my friend, you got... 16. Oh, one away. The buzzer gotcha. Oh, the buzzer yeah. gotcha. You needed to get 17 or more. Sorry. Kieran, thank you very much for joining us though tonight. Thank you for listening to the show. And don't worry, you don't walk away empty handed. You get you one off the Gotta Get It Wrong board games. Kieran, have a great Christmas. Thank you very much. Same to you. Merry Christmas, Bye. brother. There we oh, have it. Wow, that's amazing. Who there are our final? We have again? it. We have Mark and Lorna joining us in the final. Okay, Mark so, and Lorna, right. I'm going to write that down in case we forget. I'm going to tell you now. This is the last chance because this is going to be over very soon. We've only got one more round of this game left. If you want to win one of these board games, which are actually empty. There's actually nothing inside of it. Well, there's a couple hoping. of questions in there. That's yeah. about it. All you've got to do is go onto Facebook. If you're watching us on Facebook one last time, give it a comment. If you've already done it, give it another comment. Come on. It's like a workout for this guy. And share it on your timeline so we know you're watching. And then on Twitter, just comment below who you would play with, the same as Facebook, and give it a retweet. And we are back on your radios on January 4th. We can't wait to be back. Can I make an announcement? 
This, You're leaving the show. This year, um, look, I think it's fair to say my performance was below par. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> 2021, I promise you I'm going to be a better broadcaster. I plan to be a better broadcaster. I'm going to read Brian Dobson's book. Does he have a book? I don't know. Does he have a book? I've unplugged myself at the back here. There we go, back in. Right, we are ready to go for the final round. We are going to welcome Mark and Lorna back to the game. Welcome back, guys! guys! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Go. How do you guys feel? I'll first go to you, Mark. I feel really good. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, Mark would be obviously the favourite going into this round, but form goes out the window Anything here. Anything can happen. Lorna, how are you feeling now? Because you are going in two points behind Mark. Do you think you can take him in the head-to-head? -head? Yeah, I think I think can do it. Going in as underdog, low ex expectations, <laughs> yeah. just here to take part, you know, and <laughs> win, win would be nice. It will yeah. suit you. Now, it will suit you going in as underdog. Graham, I am conscious, you know, a lot of people are watching right now. <laughs> so many. I think we need to get maybe a little bit of smack talk. Now, I don't want too <laughs> offensive because I know my... My mum's watching this. Yeah. She doesn't like that stuff. It's like the filth. Smutty. She says the filth on TV. <laughs> what, what happened filth, bringing right? you up? <laughs> no. <laughs> she made a few mistakes. Mark, do you have anything to say to Lorna? No, she's wearing a Santa hat. You can't be mean to somebody wearing a Santa hat. Oh, that's nice. Not really smack Lorna, talk, I know Lorna's going to give him some Lorna, smack talk. Say <laughs> come on, Lorna. Underdog. What the? <laughs> <laughs> the underdog. Come on. Um... Mark, you, you remind me of uh, one of those uh, people who just started swimming in the sea since uh, lockdown and you didn't swim in the harsh winter of 06 with me and all the other uh, local heads. Whoa! Stop it, stop it, you're, <laughs> stop it, you're killing them. You're killing them, Lorna. Oh, Please, yeah, stop. that felt good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> wow, that was a bit too I'm far. done, she's won already, she's won already. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a bit... Okay, we got to refocus. Oh okay, God. we are playing for the Golden Eel. Here we go. These are the rules. Because Mark was top of the leaderboard, he will go first. It is head to head. Nathan will ask a question. Mark, you will answer it. Nathan will ask another question. Lorna, you will answer that one. We will keep going till someone hesitates, someone gets a question correct, or someone repeats either their question or someone else's. Guys, is that all good? Okay. Sorry, guys, I've just been told in my ear, before we get to the game, Graham will be singing the Irish <laughs> national anthem as Katie Taylor. Shenafina. <laughs> Approach the camera. Approach it. Uh, and going, and, and stare hand on heart and directly How's it going? at the... Katie, Katie, Katie Taylor okay. here. Oh, jeez, please. I'm not doing that. I can't. <laughs> I'm insulting Katie Taylor, who has done amazing things for this country. I <laughs> well, now you're making me look bad. Shana Finha fall at all. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was great. Nice. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, Mark first, then Lorna. Are you ready to go? In three, two, one, go. What's the main ingredient in tomato soup? Please. Make a noise a dog would make. Ooh. What part of the body would you wear shoes? Nose. What TV show is the character Ian Beale on? Penny Street. What is Ed Sheeran's job? Teacher. What rhymes with the word glue? Paint. How many seconds are in a minute? 17. What school did Harry Potter go to? New Park. Who is Homer Simpson married to? Bart Simpson. Bono is the lead singer of what band? Little Mix. Make a noise a frog would make. Meow. What date is New Year's Day? 29th of May. What nationality is Justin Bieber? Polish. What is the capital of France? Oven. Beef comes from what animal? Chickens. Who is the current host of The Late Late Show? Don Trump. What TV show is the character Ned Flanders from? Will and Grace. What rhymes with the word jam? Laptop. What color is an orange? Pink. Complete the name of the duo and and. Jack. What no! Insane. What a round. Oh, I just have what to say, incredible from oh, both brilliant, players. Brilliant. We nearly got down the oh, full page. Oh, Laura. 
Oh, I said oh, I was stressed Mark. out. I couldn't even imagine well what it was like. <laughs> Mark, don't be congratulating her. She gave you smack talk and you ended up beating her. Congratulations, My heart Mark! is like... <laughs> Mark, look at this. You've just won. <laughs> This beautiful, yes, golden Woo! eel. <laughs> what, what do you make of it? It's incredible. It looks great. Look, Can't wait to have it on the tree. Celtic bronze is what it says. Right, hey. Lads, thank you very <laughs> much for oh, wait, joining guys, us. Guys, guys, before you go, I am just being told something. Oh. I might hear it again. <laughs> okay. Graham is going to sing Tracy Chapman Fast Car as Katie Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, congratulations. You've just won a 50 euro Romeo's voucher. I'm That's for you. And Mark, we're going to, because there ain't no thing. The Romeo's chicken wings. Yeah! <laughs> well done, Laura. <laughs> and we're also going to throw in a 50 euro Just Eat voucher for you, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you very Thank much you for guys. joining us. Thank you Have guys. a great Christmas. Merry Nathan, Christmas. Fingers crossed. We, we get new jobs in the new year and uh, we don't have to do this anymore. Happy with the job. Yeah, okay. Have a great Christmas, everybody, and thank you for watching the Fully Charged. Oh, and we're back, yeah. We're back on the 4th of January on the radios from 7 a.m. I do have a meeting tomorrow with the CEO. Oh, right. I'm not in that meeting, so... Um, <laughs> getting the chop. Haven't been paid. Bye. You got to get it wrong.